we are on section 20.8 uh, properties of Laplace transform. So we'll look at the last two properties, okay, in this section. And the first one is the derivative of a transform. The other is the integration of a transform. So both are actually um, quite similar. So first look at the uh, derivative. So the past transform, let's write it down uh, again. So this little f is, or oh, another notation is the Laplace transform of capital F t is just uh, integrating zero to infinity e minus s times t f t dt. So this is the definition of the pass transform. So now the next thing we can do is this, when we do a derivative of a transform, we can look at uh, this, this df ds. So that will give you, we'll do the uh, derivative in the in the gram, so only the exponential function will uh, need to be differentiated. So all you have is uh, you take the data exponential function. So what you get is uh, minus t times f t dt. So obviously, by definition, this is equals to the Laplace transform of minus t times times f, the original f, capital F function. Okay, so that uh, kind of straightforward. And uh, by the same, in the same manner, so you take n derivatives, then uh, obviously just generalizing this result with, with minus t to the power n f t. Okay, so uh, so if we have a function capital F, you know the, the Laplace transform, which is this little f, and then if uh, you multiply by t to the certain power n, the Laplace transform of that is just taking the n derivative of the original Laplace transform, it will cause this minus n power the sign. Okay, so, uh, so that kind of uh, straightforward. So the simple example is this. Uh, so we already work out this uh, Laplace transform or exponential kT is equals to one over s minus k. Okay, so so uh, this means that. Uh, Laplace transform of t times e to the kt would be equal to minus dts of one over s minus k, which simply s minus k square, one over s minus k square. So that just a direct uh, application of this. Uh, this is equation 17, 20.176. So kind of straightforward. So, uh, so that's derivatives. And there'll be example, we'll look at it a, a, a bit later, but uh, let's finish the discussion on the derivatives first. So instead of taking a derivative here, we can do a, the integration. So integration of the f function from s to infinity but now when we are putting s in the limit, so we we'll change the change the variables of this little f function instead of s, we'll change that to x. Dx. Okay, so that uh, by definition this is your s to infinity dx and fx is uh, 0 to infinity e minus xt 
ft dt okay now what we will do is um, do the integration of x first so the integration of x only only involved the exponential function so that equals to uh, we'll do the in integration so let's write the integration algebra pulled out a minus one over t factor and exponential minus x t and evaluate uh, x equals to s to infinity and then f t dt so when you substitute infinity of course there's zero and um, that's because uh, this is x assuming t is positive because you're integrating t from zero to infinity and then the lower limit will give you e to the minus st okay so that will give you e to the minus st ft divided by t dt all right so by definition, this is the past transform of one over t capital F t. Okay, so uh, so you see that uh, derivative is you multiply by t. You do the integration. You divide it by t. Okay, so um, obviously you can keep doing that uh, if you have multiple integration. You keep dividing by t. Of course, uh, you're assuming when you divide it by t. This function exists when t goes to zero, so that uh, implicitly assume that. Okay, so uh, these are the two properties. Then the example here is kind of a, a little bit strange you know, using uh, this property that the technical derivative are transformed to solve the Bessel equation, but not the whole Bessel equation. Is the yeah, so uh, e equation for J0 is the zero order. So if you look up uh, our Bessel equation uh, in chapter 14, so 14.1, we have uh, x squared, so J mu double prime plus x J mu prime, J new prime plus x squared minus new square j new so that's the Bessel equation and in this example is an example 20.8.7 okay so um, we'll uh, consider new equal zero so Consider J zero, so consider J zero, so. And uh, of course, uh, we are solving in the equation. And so uh, this J zero is defined such that uh, J zero at uh, X equals zero is equals to one, so. All right, so the equation for this, this, um, for this case is uh, so basically setting this new is zero okay so if you set new equal zero the equation has uh, x square and x and x square in the coefficients and you can divide it by x okay so uh, um, for our purpose you can also change the um, uh, notation so instead of talking about j you can talk about this capital f and x becomes t so then a t f double prime plus uh, this f prime plus t f equals here all right and uh, so this f function is basically j0 here and then uh, j0 0 is 1 so th this is 1 
when t equals zero, so f pi zero is, so f pi less zero is zero. So that is uh, based on this uh, equation. All right, so what we'll do is uh, now do the uh, Laplace transform for this function for this equation. So um, for this equation, the so you have t times f f uh, double point. So uh, this, so you have this uh, you have this. Uh, T situation T multiplied by F T, but F, uh, F actually is the second derivative, but that doesn't matter. So when you do Laplace transform, that equals to minus D D S of the Laplace transform of F double prime, but F double prime, we have we can use the properties of S square and the Laplace transform we call it little F. Okay, and then uh, minus um, minus f minus s times uh, so, so this is the the property of uh, taking derivative. Just so this is second derivative. So the equation is uh, in uh, a little earlier in this section. Second derivative. So s square you have, uh, minus f pi minus s of F. So minus S of F at uh, zero, the initial condition, minus F pi of zero. Okay. And this, the next one is uh, S times F minus F zero. Okay. And the third one is, uh, so this is again your T times F, so you, you have minus D D S of F. Okay. And this is zero. All right, so uh, so when you do that, uh, do that derivative. So you can take the derivative of uh, d. This derivative will give you f's. Uh, this, this is one, this is also one, so uh, this is equals to, let's take the derivative out directly. So when you take a derivative, you have minus, the first one is minus two SF. The second one is minus S square F pi, or, yeah, this way I find the, then this, but this one, F0 is one, so you take the DDS is just one. So, and then, so you have plus one. And then you have uh, this function S, S F minus one. So this is minus one. So you have the minus F pi. So this in pi, if you group all together. So you have a S square. So all the one and minus one cancel. So you have a S square plus one. F pi and plus uh, plus 
S times F equals to zero. Okay, so, um, so this differential equation, you can solve that. So, so I prime over F plus um, S over S squared plus one equals zero. So this becomes a dd df over f plus uh, dds equal ds squared over two s squared plus one is imply log f plus uh, when you integrate that you get the uh, minus one over two s squared plus one equals the constant. Okay. So like actually this is not this is I, 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 Actually, this is also a log. I forgot to write down the log. This is also a log. You have one half and then log. Log s squared plus one. Okay, so this equals the constant. So if you multiply the two this becomes as one half power f times s squared plus one to the one half power equals to a constant or f equals to something, a constant times uh, s squared plus one. Okay, so this is a, uh, I like the, um, the the Laplace transform of J zero. Okay, so uh, to act, but we act we well that's kind of a, a, a result too. But the, there are two things. One is that we need to figure out what the constant s a constant c. The other is. Um, the other is uh, to figure out what the capital F or J0 is in the wheel space. Of course, we, we know how to, we know how to solve uh, for Bessel equation when we are in the Bessel equation chapter, but now you're using the path transform, we can do it another way. So when we do the inverse transform, we uh, want to get the inverse S power. So what? We try to do is uh, just pull out the s out. This become one plus one of s square to the one half power, and then do an expansion. And that uh, this is just a usual uh, binomial expansion of the square root function. So the square uh, you can follow your textbooks to see over here. So there's a different terms uh, and you write down, write out the explicit, uh, explicit notation. So n from c to the infinity, you have minus one to the n power. And then you have a two n factorial divided by Two n n factorial square s to the two n. Okay, so this is an expansion. This you can look up the binomial expansion. You get that, which is quite straightforward. Now you have all the inverse power, and then you can do the inverse 
Fourier transform, uh, inverse Laplace transform, which is how we uh, have the transform before, because uh, we get this power of this. When you do the example, this is uh, one of the, the situations. So we have, remember the, we have the past transform of Tn equals to gamma n plus one, s to the n plus one. And this is for uh, the general n, but the for integer n, this is uh, this n factorial divided by s n plus one. So we can do it the uh, inverse a pass transform term by term. So we get uh, this j zero. Uh, oh. Let's just write f first. F is just j zero in here. So f is uh, you have c. You have this two n plus one. So uh, what end up you get thinking is uh, you have uh, you have two n factorial, just basically it's this one, and then two n plus one. So all this will transform to just t to the power n. So you could see sum of n from zero to infinity minus one n to the power n n factorial square. And then t to the n power, actually two n power, because we are using this two n here. So it's two n plus one. We get t to the two n power. Okay, so and that is uh, the. This is uh, just j zero x j zero t, all right and. By the requirement that uh, j0 as zero, uh, 0 is 1, so it is in pi c equals to 1. All right, so, uh, so the result is uh, summarized as the Laplace transform of j0 t equals to 1 over s squared plus 1, which is this one. Okay, so, uh, and then uh, the textbook actually gave you a gen more general formula, so the past transform of j n for all integer n, not just zero, and then argument a times t, and this written down is a minus n, then this factor s squared plus a squared minus s to the power n divided by square root s squared plus a squared. Okay, so uh, the textbook say that uh, you can use that the general uh, series expansion to, to do that, but um, there's another way to check whether this, this is a correct one, but um, running out of space here, so we'll talk about that next time.